Our next condition that we'll be speaking about is hypocalcemia. And hypocalcemia is the condition where we're uh, seeing less than 8.5 milligrams per deciliter of calcium in the blood. Now calcium is found both in the extracellular and intracellular fluid. Um, so we see an excessive loss of calcium whenever we have disruptions in fluid and electrolytes. Um, examples would be excessive uh, conditions of loss related to um, diagnoses with uh, pancreatitis. Um, also, thyroid surgeries can produce hypocalcemia. Now, what does this patient look like? They tend to be more on the losing side of the scale. And like almost all of our fluid and electrolyte imbalances, we see somebody who's very uncomfortable, tired, kind of a, an exhausted, really uh, uncomfortable look. I'm trying to give you a little frown here. And um, one of the most concerning issues is the effect of the hypocalcemia on the heart, again causing arrhythmias. Patients will exhibit confusion. So when you're thinking of their overall needs, you want to make sure that the environment is always safe. And because we have a loss of calcium going on, there's a risk of bone fracture. So again, the safety is imperative so that they don't have falls. The muscles exhibit twitching and tremor to the point that uh, tetany can also occur. And there are a couple of ways that we can assess for hypocalcemia by doing a couple of tasks called, one, the Shavastic sign, which is when you gently tap the angle of the jaw right below the ear. And when this is done, somebody with hypocalcemia may turn towards the affected side and almost have like a little chattering um, or tremor of their muscle occur. The other test is when you put a blood pressure cuff on the arm, pump it up for a short amount of time, and it produces almost a flapping, fin-like flapping of the hand. This is called Trousseau's sign. So what's to be done? We know that um, it's important to monitor neurological signs as well as cardiac signs and administer IV calcium gluconate or calcium chloride as ordered to um, rebalance the underlying um, hypocalcemic condition. Also, oral calcium and vitamin D supplements can be added. These folks need to be um, monitored, especially if they're on loop diuretics, because any excretion from the kidneys, where is my yellow? Right there, okay. Excretion from the kidneys with the loop diuretics is going to result in even more calcium being lost.